Now after understanding the concept of fluid statics, that is the fluid at rest, now let's look at fluids in motion and talk about the dynamics of fluid flow. Now with this we mean that we'll be studying the fluid motion with the forces that cause the flow. So this concept or this uh, you know uh, section of the entire subject of fluid mechanics, it depends upon the Newton's second law of motion. So we all know that what is the Newton's second law of motion? Newton's second law of motion which is F is equal to mass into acceleration. Alright. Now to just start off the forces that can act uh, during a fluid motion can be so you can have a fluid uh, you know flowing and the forces that are acting on it, let us say it is the gravity force, the force due to gravity, Fg. So let me write down force due to gravity. Okay, we can have the pressure force, that is the force due to pressure, due to pressure. Okay, uh, we can have the force due to viscosity. So some viscous force will be there. So this is viscous force. Okay, then uh, we can have the force produced or the force uh, in the fluid flow due to the turbulence. So you can have force due to fluid turbulence. Okay. Uh, then we can have the force due to the fluid compressibility. So force due to compressibility. Okay. So you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 different uh, forces during a fluid flow. Now let us say that we are having a fluid motion in a particular direction that is let us say x axis direction so you will have the force in the x axis as m into the acceleration component in the x direction. So if I have to write down that the total force in the x direction would be a sum of all these forces yes in the x direction only so you will have the gravity force component in the direction x the pressure force component in direction x the viscous force component in, in you know direction x then you have ft of x and then fcx okay so this is the total force that can act during a fluid flow in the direction x okay so let us say uh, this is the total force equation if i assume that my uh, you know force due to compressibility is zero that is my fluid is incompressible okay so if fc in the direction of x is zero or i would say negligible all right this means incompressible flow or incompressible fluid all right so when you put fc zero in this the equation is called Reynolds equation a Reynolds equation of fluid motion okay now if I put the uh, turbulence force also equal to 0 so if the turbulence force also becomes negligibly small this means that the uh, flow is not turbulent it is laminar then the equation is called navier stokes equation then it is called navier stokes equation okay last if i put the viscous force also equal to zero okay so let us say if the viscous force in the direction x also becomes zero or negligible then the resulting equation is called the euler's equation of motion so euler's equation of 
motion okay so you have three kinds of or you can say you can have you can have three uh, different equations if you put fc ft and fv0 all right so this is the brief introduction about the dynamics of flow so let's move on to the next video and look at how do we derive the euler's equation of motion in the next video